guys again, how are you? Well, it is round four of the Festival State Cup here at Bolivar. So this is a fresh track for myself. I've only done maybe a handful of laps around here. Um, but yeah, so it'll be interesting. So we've got a pretty tight field this weekend. Uh, for me, it's just seeing what everyone else does amongst in the field. We've got some extremely fast guys, so it'd be beneficial to learn their lines and uh, see what they do around the track. Um, we've had three full practice sessions and qualifying's just coming up now. bit of a recap on what's happened today. The first session, we ended up in the long gravel trap on turn one, and it took nearly a session and a half to get it clean. Uh, Jake busted his balls to get it done. So second session went out, which was session three. Um, just got some laps in, started to get used to things. Uh, and then session four, we just bedded in some new tires. So I'm not experiencing new tires again in qualifying like we did last time. Um, yeah, so we will have a good time, I reckon, today learning off all the rest of the guys in the field. So we've got some extremely talented and experienced dudes in this class. Um, so for me, it's just kind of hanging in between them and seeing what they do and how they react and uh, how they place the cart and learning learning some little, uh, little tips off them along the way because there's no point getting in anyone's way, especially when there's points and anything involved in here. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow is three 10 lap races and one 14 lap at the end of the day. I reckon for the weekend, if we can say qualify not dead last, we'll go maybe that's one one goal. And yet again, put the cart back in, well, a van, not a trailer anymore, but uh, put the cart back in the van how it came out. Uh, and probably three, walk away with some more understanding about the cart. We're starting to take a bit more data this round. Uh, and starting to understand what changes do to the cart uh, and what is A, my driving or B, cart doing. Uh, and then, yeah, work on those finer things and, uh, yeah, just keep chipping away. All right, guys, well, we will check in tomorrow and uh, we'll have some cool footage for you, hopefully. All right, see you later, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.
Well, that wraps up a chaotic weekend, you could say, of um, Festival State Cup round four at Bolivar. Um, how do I wrap this up? It was a frustrating weekend all in all for me. I uh, haven't spent A, much time in the car to play and B, um, next to zero laps, uh, actually at race pace around Bolivar. So it was uh, always gonna be a challenge considering who was in the field. Um, it was probably one of the toughest fields, obviously I've seen of late, like when you've got some of the guys in there that have been doing it for absolute donkeys and have been around Australia, it's always gonna be impossible to get anywhere near the action. Um, but it was trying to stay out of the chaos today and it found me a little bit. Um, was it race two, I think so? He two, uh, coming through the S's at Bolivar, went over one of the curves too high and I um, bumped the spark plug lead off, uh, cart shut down, tried to get it started, lost two laps from there and then the rest of it was uh, just a bit of limitations. Um, from staying in the cart a little bit longer than I should have been probably in an extremely dangerous situation. Um, I won't be getting a endorsement this time round. Uh, fair enough, it is what it is. Like, I mean, it's just another race and some more racing experience, I guess. Um, and then Heat 3, uh, leaving the pits, warming up the tyres, turned lock on, and uh, as the back sliding out, and then what happened was cut all power. The cart shut down, wouldn't start again. Um, so before the race even started, my race was over. Um, so before the final, we pulled everything apart, Carby off, Carby like, pulled apart, cleaned, put it back, uh, checked, unplugged, plugged all the loom back in and all the clips and uh, seemed to work all right. So for the final, stayed out of trouble, gained a couple of spots because of the chaos uh, and also got massively faster. Like, I mean, it was worlds apart compared to where it was. Because uh, I started to feel a bit more confident in the car, obviously, after the first um, first couple of sessions in practice on Saturday, running it into the dirt, um, busted my confidence hugely up. Um, so obviously, it's a fast bit of the track, and uh, if you lose that little bit of the edge to push deeper there, it uh, doesn't set you up for a good lap. Uh, other than that, though, smashed in the last race, my PB by 0.4. Uh, so 37.43 I think in the end. Um, I'm stoked with that. I can't complain at all considering I've done maybe 25 laps uh, around the track and maybe five or 10 under full race noise. Um, because of the first half was all running in an engine. Um, other than that, can't, uh, yeah, can't complain about that. Heaps of room to improve, heaps of room. Um, it's just getting more confident in the card, like not changing anything. Uh, work the tire pressures out at the end of the day, what worked really well. It seems like the cart, uh, how it's set up in the minute gets better as the morning gets hot, like in the morning or the day, so to speak, gets hotter. Um, so I've got to work on maybe a cold morning setup um, and how to get around that. And it can be a lot of driving as well. So but it'd be good just to have a little bit more of the car switch on in the morning. Uh, other than that, uh, all in all, car goes back in the van, as you can see or not see in the back there, uh, as straight as it left, um, and no damage really. Um, yeah, can't complain. So I think I might do the fifth round of Festival State Cup at Gambia, depending. Um, so I've got to get the rest of the van finished. Um, it was a bit of a bit of a rush to get to here. Uh, we're purchasing the van, getting it all ready. Um, my mate Brett, shout out to Brett as well. Um, when you see the video, uh, Brett absolutely killed it with the setup at the back. I'll pop some photos in, in and around here, maybe wherever, um, of what it looks like in the back. And uh, yeah, next stage we'll finish it off and make it uh, look a little bit better um, and a bit more usable. Um, but from there, yeah, we'll hopefully, yeah, like I said, do round five in Gambia. We'll wait and see because we've got that to get done. Um, I've got a few other things on the go as well. Um, outside, so helmet gets redone, um, gets airbrushed and stuff like that. I've been waiting ages for it to get done for a spot um, for the gentleman that's gonna do it. So it might be the time to get it done. It all depends, we'll see how it all falls in with dates and uh, 
see what I can do and uh, see if we can't get an Airbnb up at Gambia um, in time without paying an absolute fortune closer to the race date. Um, as well as depending if the Demons get into the AFL Grand Final as well. If they get into the Grand Final, um, I'm going to have an expensive couple of months and something will have to uh, take precedence on what loses out. So it may be the fifth round and I might just do some club days. But uh, yeah, all in all, and you won't see as well, the un just thinking of it, the last race, uh, the final, you won't see that footage because um, I didn't have a camera on the front and they pulled me up on that in scrutineering. So I, I wasn't able to film the, fr the last run, which was evidently the cleanest race and the fastest laps for me. So uh, disappointing, but I've, I've got to uh, remember that rule that it's got to have a camera on the front uh, and then you can place cameras wherever it's more so for the national rounds apparently so they can all have consistent driver footage from the front if there's any accidents or anything like that um, so that's fair enough but uh, yeah I mean you learn these things happen and uh, it's a part of the experience I guess I just don't have or spend have spent enough time in the car to be that confident I'm just got to use and use and use it a bit more and start playing with things a bit um, but hands on this weekend was probably one of the best mechanically in regards to pulling stuff apart and learning more about the car um, and then being a bit more confident on the tool side of things because before the car hasn't had any dramas and it's just been fuel and tyres but uh, yeah so we'll, we'll work on that but uh, big shout out to Craig uh, Denton again um, his help and support this weekend was amazing um, yeah I, just to pick his brain like I said last time to pick his brain and to have him there helping and trying to get your head switched on a bit more is amazing um, big thanks to Jake as well um, who you'll see floating around in parts of the video um, yet again without Jake and that help none of this happens like I couldn't do it on my own uh, other than that um, don't forget to like subscribe and comment below wherever we are somewhere down there and uh, guys until next time we'll see you soon